All right, we are done with the winch wiring. So there's the solenoid, okay? We've got these two are the triggers to close the solenoid. And those are hooked up to auxiliary three. Here's the wire coming straight from the battery on this side. This side is going to the winch. And I just ran the winch for the first time. Check it out. And if I turn off aux three, and now it'll cut off power from the main source so that this will no longer work. See, no, no working anymore. I'm Joe, and that's my wife, Solvig. We are driven with desire to go outdoors and adventure travel, be it overlanding, backpacking, or national park road trips. It's important for us to have spontaneous options of where to stay, to eat well, to unwind after a fantastic day, to be clean and hygienic. We found over the years it's those things that can make or break a great time. So stick around and follow along to see how we meet those challenges while on an adventure to satisfy our craving outdoors. Okay, so we've got the winch on. All we need to do is hook up the positive and negative to the battery. Fairly it is installed, and these bolts are tightened down right here. So this is ready to go on the rig. Now we're gonna get onto the wiring up the winch. I originally thought about wiring the winch where I wired up the air compressor, which is right here. That's a direct connection to the battery, but it's only rated for 200 amps. And it really is recommended that you put a straight wire from the winch, which is right here, uh, to straight to the battery. Well, the problem is the battery is in the back of the truck. Let me show you where it is. The battery is right here. And so I've got to figure out how to get a wire of zero gauge up and through. I'm going to fish it down here, here, and then there's actually a grommet right here that goes straight down. But I'm going to actually run it here down and just throw it in this channel right here and just run it all the way along this here, all the way under here, up through here. And then there is a grommet right there that goes into the engine bay. And I'll show you the other side of that grommet. But you can see right there, that's where it comes out. And the next step is gonna be bringing the wire from the battery right up into this area right here. And then somehow I'm gonna fit the solenoid right in this area somehow. Okay, first step is gonna be removing this cover Removing this, taking this fish stick. This is a basically a wire fishing stick. Throw this down here until it pokes out. Then I'll connect the cable on the other end, pull it back through, and we'll leave enough lead here so that we can connect straight up to the battery. That just pulls right off, pretty easy. Held on with these clips. This one is a little bit more difficult, so you want to take a tool, like a plastic pry tool, not a metal one, and just put it under here, and then twist. And then it just pops right up. You can see how it, there's a little gap right there that it's in now. And you can just fish your tape I got how to push, okay? It pulls out right there. And I'm gonna first get it on there so that it might not get hung up there. 
All right, honey, I'm gonna need your help a little bit here now. Because I just need to go to the other end of the stick and pull it as I'm feeding this up. Pull the stick? Yeah, pull the stick. So go ahead and pull it now. Okay, keep pulling, keep pulling. Check it out, we're through. You can see the tape there. I think I'm good now, honey, thank you. There we go. And now we're gonna go figure out how to get this part tucked in up so that it comes out here. That's gonna be a little more difficult. Ended up being pretty easy, actually, because this part just pulled right up, and then I'm able to just tuck it right under. Okay, so, there. Now it's all buttoned down. The cable now comes out right here, and it's gonna just go down this channel, which is great that they have this channel here. So I gotta pop this off, pop this one off, pop that off, bring it up, and then we'll bring it through. Okay, so these come off super easy. I probably should show you that. You just take it and just grab it. They just pop right off. So that's a big one right there, okay? I just need to put this back on. Okay, and then these will all connect up. This will connect in right here. Boom, and it's done. So that wire is here, it goes under here, up into the battery area. Comes through this A or B pillar, I guess that is. And then it's gonna run here, up and through the firewall into the main cabin. And so I'm just gonna have to cut a little hole in it, feed my thing through. Right there. Here's my hole. And it's through. Can you guys see that? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the red cable through now. Okay, so we got it through. So this wire, I had to take this panel off. There's just a single screw back there. You gotta just feed it up and then you can see the cable now. And maybe you can see the red cable in there. Yeah, there it is. So that's through. This panel is just gonna pop right back on. Boom. Lovely. And then it's coming out the firewall right there through that grommet. Had the original wires coming up here and they just terminated right here. I brought them back down. They're behind the winch. And then they're going up here. Right through there. And up under the frame. And then I grounded this right to this engine ground or this frame ground right here. And then this now is in the right position to connect to the solenoid. The solenoid will be powered by the third auxiliary switch, which will be right here. Third one is gonna be worn winch. So that when we, if we need the winch, we've gotta turn the power on and hit that button and that'll charge the solenoid, connect the two red wires that'll be here, and then we'll have power to the winch. Um, it's not necessary to do, but with the wireless controllers, anybody could come up to my winch, connect their wireless controller, and wreak havoc on my car. So this way, I have a way to turn the winch off when I'm parked or, or whatever. Warren actually recommends just wiring directly to the battery. 
But again, I want to have a way to turn it off so that somebody can't just take their worn winch and connect it up to my winch, unspool it, and just destroy my car with it. I've heard stories about that happening. Okay, so the solenoid came. And let me just recap real quick. Here's our wiring from the battery. It's going in through there. This is the wire from the winch. And what a solenoid does is right here. This is the worn solenoid that was designed for this winch. And what it does is you put the power source here, the worn side of the power source here, and then this is a big giant switch. And if you charge it with power here, not a high voltage, just a little one, it'll close and then connect these two. So this I'm gonna connect up to one of the aux switches so that the aux switch will control whether or not the worn winch is getting power. I was able to find a, an M6 threaded hole right here that was empty. And then there was a hole here that this was in. So I just removed it, moved it down a hole. And then this was able to hole be used for a nut and a bolt. I put this bolt on from the inside. So there it is. So that it's easy to thread on and off. And I'll go ahead and start wiring this up. But that's the solenoid from Warren. This is the kit that it came in. A bunch of stuff I don't need. Comes with a switch, but I will need these little boots. Those will get, those will go on, and then, um, and then I'll trim these, put some ends on, and get them installed here onto auxiliary three, which I believe is only a 15 amp, because you don't need a lot of amperage to go there to charge this and, and close the circuit. All right, we are done with the winch wiring. So there's the solenoid, okay? We've got these two are the triggers to close the solenoid. And those are hooked up to auxiliary three. Here's the wire coming straight from the battery on this side. This side is going to the winch. And I just ran the winch for the first time. Check it out. And if I turn off aux three, and now it'll cut off power from the main source so that this will no longer work. See, no, no working anymore. There we go, winch. All right, this project is done. Bumpers on, winch is on, it works. I hope you guys learned something valuable. It was not an easy project, but it was well worth it. Um, so if you have any questions, if you have any anything, hit me up. I'll try to do my best to answer them for you. Otherwise, thank you so much for sticking around, watching this video, and the next mod is coming up. All right, everybody take care. Have amazing adventures.